Professor Nagaraj, all the distinguished faculty of Prayoga and all the fine students who have assembled here. It's a privilege for me to extend to all of you my warmest greetings at this very important moment in the life of Prayoga. The institution has opened a new campus and its song and with a very beautiful building. It is a temple of learning. It is engineered keeping in view the evolving needs of a truly modern educational institution with emphasis on both pedagogy and research. Professor Nagaraj has put all his rich experience of years giving shape to this place and has given exemplary lead by such great munificence rarely witnessed among his class of citizenry. I salute you, Professor Nagaraj, for this. There is a lesson for all of us. In order that an institution becomes successful, it has to have two ingredients. First, an extraordinary quality of the faculty that you assemble. Second one is the quality of students that you are able to attract to the institution. Your faculty certainly are exemplary, both in teaching and in doing research. And of course, by virtue of your own name in the field of education, very, very good students from all over Bangalore have got themselves admitted into your institution. Therefore, as Feynman pointed out once, if you have a good flower garden, and that is the faculty, you will certainly attract a good student, and it has happened. I never teach pupils, said Professor Einstein. I only attempt to provide the conditions in which they can learn. How nice that this view is almost identical to the view that you have professed all along in our conversation. I hope the faculty are already inspired to keep this in view in all their efforts. In order to invent, you need good imagination and a pile of junk. And that's what Thomas Alva Edison said about the spirit of invention. And that should be the motivating factor for all of our students. And I'm sure they will not wait for extremely expensive good instruments to arrive in order to be able to do research. Last, I would like to say a quote from the great Ananda Tirtha. Nijan bhava varjita, harer anugraho jita, maha prayatna varjita, Jana Najag Murunati. This is in the context of Pandavas going for war. And what is the thing that they needed in order in order to achieve success? Bhima, in whose mouth these words have been put, exemplifies how one can simply condense all these thoughts into three ingredients. First is that you will have to have the confidence that you can do. And that is Nijanu Bhava. Second one, of course, is Hare Ranubraha, which means God's grace, which will come to all those who are doing good things, which is guaranteed. The third one is the most important, Maha Prayatna Varjita. People will have to put in, the students, the faculty, everybody will have to put in their very best efforts in order to be successful. And this is very important. And I'm sure under your guidance and under the guidance of your faculty, Students will certainly get this point home and will be able to achieve very great things during their stay in Prayoga. I hope all the success to you and Prayoga in particular in achieving this objective. Thank you very much.